What's going on, fight fans? This is the Encyclopedia George Kennebrew here with MMA Mayhem TV, and you already know what it is. NFC number 76, Atlanta, Georgia, center stage. And I have next to me, Jeremy Hitem Holloway. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, Encyclopedia, it seems like everywhere Jeremy, Jeremy Holloway goes, you always seem to wind up interviewing him. Trust me, I have no routines. This is not planned. Me and him did not text each other over the phone and be like, hey man, I just want to get an interview with you because I know you're going to win. No, this is all unexpected. Uh, so I just want to let you fans know that. Now, on the serious business, yes, Jeremy Holloway, once again, you come out and you just electrify and you just amaze the, the NFC crowd and you get another win under your belt. I mean, how do, how do you do this, man? How do you, how do you constantly just keep going? Because I think some, at some point, people are going to be like, is this guy ever going to lose? I love it, man. I mean, I believe I believed in something two years ago, and I prayed, I waited, I put my work in. I watched everybody else that was succeeding me and looked at everything they did to get along the way to where they got to. And um, I knew that when the time came, my opportunity came once I made my pro debut here a year ago today, that I was not going to look back. I was going to push the ball. I was going to be that snowball going downhill until they can just deal with the avalanche. And that's what's happening right now. I'm avalanching on everybody. I'm coming for anything and every opportunity. Right now, I'm looking to step into a bigger stage. So with Dudley Spence, now you and I were talking a little bit off camera. And I was saying that I think that Dudley might have been one of your toughest fights because he was really pushing the pace on you. And, and he really, I, I guess, tested you for real, you know, with his, his wrestling and his clinch. But you even said it yourself, Dudley is a durable guy, which I agree with. Yeah, um, like I said, I did my homework on him. He's a grinder, hardcore gym. Is, they're known for being pretty good all around, so they don't try to just focus on one point because this is mixed martial arts. So um, with that being said, I knew he was going to be strong, but he has a breaking point in every fight. He, he broke against Adam D. Hard. He broke against uh, Cody Wilson. And I seen him break midway of the second round. I mean, he just hit his knees and just went blank. Allowed me to take his back, possibly get him out. And uh, he gave up a good position twice. Like I said, he just he just broke in that round. And um, I put the pedal to the floor and just kept pushing. Now, you talk about coming for anybody and anyone. So I'm going to put you on the hot seat right now if I can. Is the fight with David K? Is that in your future? Is that what you want? Can we expect that? Because I know I want to see it. Do you want to see it? All I want to see is more zeros. <laughs> right now, I'm 7-0. I mean, I'm so far, I'm being taken care of, man. But for what I've been putting my body through, you're talking about I've fought seven times this year. Today makes my seventh fight this year. So uh, I'm actually looking to, looking to make a big step up for the end of the year. I'll probably wait to announce that in a couple of months. So um, I may not be around for that fight. Wow. So so basically what you're saying is, is at this point, you're proving yourself on the local scene. You say, now it's time for my phone to start ringing from Dana White, the UFC, Bellator, WSOF, 1FC, whatever the case may be. Basically what you're trying to say is, it's time to let a nationally televised audience know who Jeremy Hitham Holloway is. Is that correct? Well, of course. I mean, these guys have been in the game for a minute. I've had my feet in the program now, like I said, a year. This guy's had 29 fights. He's had a lot of experience. He's got to fight a lot of guys all over the world. And um, not to knock him, but I want that same, I want that same, uh, how do you say, um, the same chance or opportunity. So, now, there we go. now, one last thing. I got to talk about these cool tie shorts, man. You never cease to amaze me with these outfits, too. I mean, last time you had, like, the bandana and you came out in a boxer robe. This time you're coming out with the tie shorts. I mean, just, do you think about this stuff, like, yeah, in your sleep? Oh, you yeah. made these yourself. Uh, I designed everything, and then I took it to the graphics, and she put everything on for me. Wow. So not only is he a fighter, ladies and gentlemen, but he's also a graphic creative genius, hence the tie short. Matter of fact, one day, I'm gonna, I'm, you and me going to have to talk. I'm going to have to get some of these tie oh, shorts, I got man. You, man. And, you know, I'm 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 finna go up to Planet Fitness to get my workout on. I want to let them know that oh, you know I'm a part of. Around at the door to see these two intimidators. Ah, <laughs> hey, but that's what we want though. That that's what the MMA community is all about. I mean, some of them just can't handle us. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I believe you. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, he's got a big smile on his face, and he's certainly got a reason to. Got another win, another notch up under the belt, as you see with the NFC piece and these tight, awesome Muay Thai shorts. He said he's looking to take it to another level, and if he keeps on hitting them and knocking them down, he certainly will. Another page turn.